Police Constable Collis Chucky Brown has been found guilty on three counts of murder in the infamous Police Death Squad case. He was also found guilty on one count of wounding with intent and conspiracy to commit murder. The verdicts were handed down in Kingston's Home Circuit Court on Thursday afternoon, four hours after a six-member jury retired to consider his fate. In the murder of Des Moines, Gutty Dawkins on January 10, 2009, guilty. In the murder of Dwayne Douglas on December 13, 2012, guilty. And in the murder of Andrew Farron on December 13, 2012, guilty. Wounding with intent of a Crown witness on January 10, 2009, guilty. And conspiracy to commit murder, guilty. Indicom prosecutor Caroline Hay said the conviction was significant, but defense attorney Vincent Willesley said the ruling will be a blow to other hard-working police personnel. This verdict has sent a wrong message to decent, hard-working police men and women of this country. And it is going to further demoralize these good and decent police officers of this country. In particular, the police officers in Clarendon. There is no right in any citizen, whether police or to command or perform an unlawful act. I have a lot of deep respect for the JCF and we do as a team because we know that they face a lot of hardship and challenge over there. The citizen has the same right as the police officer to due process. And I think if I could speak for my team, that's the most important point for us. That there is a thing known as due process of law. And everyone is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Well, that's the law. So whether or not they have said it, that is the law. I am not trying to bash the process, but I'm saying, I came in a matter very late. But having listened to what went on, what I heard from other persons, including Mr. Godfrey, as to what went on before I came in the matter, I heard that he did quite well and that he did enough, which ought to have caused the jury to come back with at least a not guilty verdict. If not a not guilty verdict, it should have been a hung jury. There's no way what the prosecution presented ought to have caused a unanimous verdict and all one. Firstly, despite what is alleged that Mr. Brown said, Mr. Norman Godfrey thoroughly cross-examined Mr. Hamish Campbell. Mr. Godfrey thoroughly cross-examined the informant. Mr. Godfrey thoroughly cross-examined all the relevant witnesses in this matter. And having listened, I thought that he caused or raised enough doubt to have caused the jury to return and not guilty. Collis Chucky Brown is to be sentenced on December 20. Damian Mitchell for the Gleaner Online.